So every so often I have someone come along and message me, hey, I'm a talented developer, I wanna work for Decred. Can I speak to your CEO? Well, in Decred, there is no CEO or hiring manager. The reason why is because Decred is an autonomous, decentralized, open source project with no existing central authority to make those types of decisions. So how does it all work? If there's no CEO, how do new people get brought on? Well, let's dive further into the Decred contractor model. Decred is a community of doers, and that is fundamental to the growth of the project. In order to become a contractor, it is typical for a new contributor to first demonstrate an independent interest in Decred. Understand the basics of Decred by reading documentation or other other educational content. This means understanding the core tenets and other ins and outs of the project. The most efficient way to learn about Decred is to visit docs.decred.org and visit the Getting Started section. Find a part of the project you feel you have the skills to contribute to. What kind of skill set do you possess? Where do you think you can contribute? Do you believe your work will be valuable to the project? Check with Decred contractors before starting work to avoid duplication of efforts. The easiest way to reach Decred contractors is by joining chat.decred.org, which uses Matrix. There are specific rooms available for development, research, and marketing. Complete and submit your work. If it is deemed valuable by the community and current contractors, odds are you'll be brought on as a contractor. Now this model works well because it means the people working on Decode actually care about the project on a deeper level. And don't just see their work as a means to another monthly paycheck. They understand their work is helping to grow and expand the Decode ecosystem, which is something many contractors are personally invested in. So where does this money come from to pay contractors? Not from an ICO or outside capital, contractors are paid directly by Decred's treasury, which gets its funds from Decred's own block reward. 10% of every Decred block reward is placed in the Decred Development Fund. The Development Fund makes Decred a self-funded open source project with no need for outside capital or an ICO. How the Development Fund is spent is determined by the community. Through the project proposal website, users get to vote on ideas to improve the network and select the development team to complete them. Having this treasury means Decred will be funded indefinitely, allowing for continuous infrastructure maintenance, development work, design, research, administration, and marketing. In fact, the creation of this video was funded by the treasury. Decred on-chain researcher Checkmate said the following in his article titled Decred, The Resilient Stronghold. The Decred treasury is an invaluable cornerstone of the Decred project's success and longevity. It enables a fully self-sovereign development cycle and is nothing short of a remarkable experiment in distributed human organization and employment. So the treasury sounds great and all, but who gets to control it and who gets to make these decisions? The treasury is controlled by Decred stakeholders, the people who hold and choose to stake their coins in Decred's proof of work, proof of stake mining system. They do this by voting to authorize expenditures via Politea, Decred's off-chain public proposal platform. The end goal of this fund is to be a stakeholder-driven decentralized autonomous organization, or DAO for short. So as a Decred contractor, you are actually working for the Decred DAO. This comes with a slew of benefits. You can work from anywhere in the world. There are no formal meetings. There is no corporate or political agenda pushed on you. And you can work full or part-time, setting your own hours. I'm gonna need you to go ahead and come in tomorrow. So if you could be here around Nine, that would be great. Okay. And while working remotely is becoming more commonplace now these days with the rise of the internet, the Decred project has shaped this in truly a unique manner, true to the principle of decentralization since contractors are able to self-manage their work. So you may be wondering how contractors report their hours and get paid. Well, there's a system for that. At the end of each month, each contractor prepares an invoice and submits it to the Contractor Management System, or CMS for short, which is integrated into Politea. The invoice lists the items the contractor has worked on in a charge in USD for each. Typically, these charges are for a number of hours worked at an agreed hourly rate. USD amounts are converted to DC or at the average daily market rate for the previous month. Once all of the invoices have been received and processed, payments to all contractors are made on the same day. This typically happens in the middle of the month around two weeks in. The intention is to turn payments around as quickly as possible, but the process takes time and relies on timely invoicing by contractors. There's also a Decred contractor clearance component integrated into CMS, whereby potential contractors can be vetted and approved by other contractors within a specific domain, granting them a DCC, which enables them to bill on CMS. 
Contractors can also have their DCC revoked via the same process if their work is deemed not sufficient by other contractors in their domain. Even though each contractor is responsible for self-management, their work is reviewed by their peers operating in the same domain to see if they are billing correctly. As the DCR USD conversion rate is pegged to the previous month, contractors are exposed to any volatility in the price of DCR that occurs during this period, as contractors will be unable to liquidate their earnings until payments have been made. They must be mindful that prices can decrease or increase in the interim and plan their finances accordingly. Since contractors are paid out in DCR not USD, many have to sell their DCR to fiat in order to pay bills, and in doing so are exposed to exchange fees and price volatility. If you'd like to get an insight on what it's like to be a DCR contractor, community member Richard Red wrote up an in-depth article talking about his experiences working for the Decred DAO. In the article, he writes, once one gets to know the project, one can identify useful pieces of work that aren't currently being done fairly easily. Taking on these tasks and completing them well is like the application process to work on Decred. As people get to know you and see that you are making useful contributions, other opportunities may open up. Understand that everything going on within the project is available to see on GitHub. So if you're interested in working for the project, simply visit GitHub, pick something to work on, and do it. And if it's deemed valuable, odds are you'll be asked to become a contractor and get paid for your work. If you don't know where to start on GitHub, there's a Twitter account titled Decred Good First Issues, which provides some starting points for developers looking to contribute to the project. Here's a quick video about a Decred contractor talking about how he became one. And I just picked a weekend and sent like three or four PRs during a, a long weekend. And then we started talking about uh, me becoming a part-time contractor. Decred has contractors from all over the world contributing to various elements of the project. It is truly a global workforce coming together to sustain and improve the Decred protocol, all while doing so in an autonomous manner. Remember, what you do for Decred is more important than whatever credentials you might possess, and it is the key to becoming a contractor. Resumes and interviews are simply not a thing here. You'll need to demonstrate on your own how you can add value to the Decred ecosystem in order to become a part of it. Thanks for watching, and if you have any questions, please feel free to comment and check the video description for helpful links. Decred is secure, adaptable, sustainable. Learn more at decred.org.